Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to read.com. This is the SX La Primera GMT Diver Watch from the new brand SX that is a German brand. Um, this is a very sort of big, hardcore, large diver's watch. They have a couple on the line and this is their GMT version. Case is quite nicely made. I like it, feels smooth, has a bead blasted, sand blasted, whatever finish to it. Very instrument like, very utilitarian, large indexes on the dial, easy to read. Um, you really are not going to have a lot of problems understanding what this timepiece is. This is a classic diver if there ever was one with sort of the SX twist on how they wanted to do it. And there's, there's, it's a very masculine watch. There's a lot of um, combinations of classic elements in here. Look at look at just how, how high that rotating bezel is. I mean, it's made just to look really hardcore. Um, it spins well. It's pretty sturdy. Uh, you know, you have that mixture of that black and the red there. This is a watch that feels as though it's meant to be a diving instrument first. If it looks nice on your wrist at any other time, that's simply sort of a side effect. Interesting type of metal bracelet here, something I haven't seen before in this type of style with these little tiny links um, sandwiched between larger links. I like the four o'clock position of the crown with this interesting crown guard, which um, part of the crown guard is integrated into the lug. I thought that was kind of a slick little design move right there. Um, operating the watch is, is nice because inside it has a ETA um, 28 series. I believe it's a 2893 because this is a GMT watch, which means that winding gets very, very smooth. The 28 um, XX series movements from ETA are their nicer automatics. Um, so meaning that when you adjust uh, the GMT hand there, it adjusts in one hour increments. Um, very easy to use. The hour indicators are applied, which I like. They have a lot of loom on them. There's pretty good night viewing this. There's also loom on the hands. The hands um, are polished and there's a loom. They're obviously very easy to spot. I would have liked for there to be a little bit of a faceting on the hands, which means they'd be bent and then polished, but that's just a little thing right there. GMT hands, easy to see. Um, and what they did is instead of having an outer ring, of for the 24 hour scale, they sort of have the numbers in between. So the regular hour um, indicators will double as the as some of those numerals. So if you look there in between, you'll see um, one and then it skips to three and you would use, you know, one o'clock actually for two for the GMT hand. So you just have to use it a little bit differently. The sapphire crystal is very thick. It's like five millimeters thick. The case um, is water resistant to a thousand meters and that's why it's sort of so big and bulky and steel. That right there is an automatic helium release valve um, which you might use once in a while. It's nice to know that it's there. Um, overall I really like the watch. Um, it's it's not a flashy diver's watch. It doesn't try to be anything that it's not. Um, some might call it generic looking but but I think that's something that a lot of people are looking for. They want something which epitomizes a the theme, and ESSEC does it in arguably an original way. There's some nice engraving uh, on the back of the watch there. And it comes with a lot of stuff. You get a rubber bracelet, I'm sorry, rubber strap, um, some changing tools, um, and things like that. One area that is um, a little quirky on these is the, is the bracelet here. This section right here, this is the diver's extension. It moves in and out. Um, a little bit rough. Um, maybe it's just the one I have. Um, I'd recommend perhaps oiling it up a little bit with the right type of oil to make sure that it, it operates uh, smoothly. Um, but this is nice to have because there are no micro adjusts on the bracelet. So in addition to using this as a diver's extension, you can use this as a micro adjust to make sure the watch is uh, sized accordingly for you. A watch like this, let's put it on, is, look at that, it's, it's, it's even though it's 45 millimeters wide, it still wears pretty nicely. Um, you know, it's it, this this type of bracelet. You'll you'll either really like it or it just won't be your thing. But I have to admit that wearing it, it, it sort of goes with the theme. Reminds me a little bit of those diver suits, those anti-shark bite that look like you know. Um, uh, you know, chain mail armor that you wear when you're diving to prevent bites from sharks. It, it reminds me a little bit of that. Looks kind of cool. Um, definitely the type of watch that you feel comfortable diving to the water with. Um, visibility should be very good um, given the bright loom. Um, price for this watch is about uh, 
$2,500, just over $2,500 for the GMT version, less for the non-GMT version. There's also a chronograph version, and there are different dial colors as well, and there's also black uh, colored cases and bracelets to go with it. This is just sort of the more mainstream one. Again, this is the X SX La Primera GMT watch. You can see the full review at a blog to read.com. Thanks.